Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2015 Mayor's Community Service Awards. My name is Douglas Harrison, I'm the director of the Front Porch Alliance in Mayor Ballard's office, and we're happy to be part of the organizing committee along with our partners at the uh, President's Roundtable that helped bring this together. Today, I'm really happy to bring Tim Doty from WTTV News as our MC of the day. Tim is a newcomer to Indianapolis and he spent a lot of time in Michigan at both Lansing and Grand Rapids where he was anchor as well as sportscaster. Now he's the anchor for morning and noon news here at WTTV4 and we're excited to have both him and his wife as great additions to the city. He's an avid golfer so you can challenge him as soon as you like, right Mayor? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and test his skills on the golf course but he also enjoys other sports, including karate. But we're happy to have Tim here to help us out. <laughs> Tim, won't you come and join us? Tim. Thank you, Doug. As Doug said, I am the uh, morning and noon anchor on Channel 4, CBS 4 here in Indy. If you've been watching, we thank you. It's been a big change to... Uh, Takeover is the CBS affiliate here in uh, Indianapolis, and I know uh, viewing habits are hard to change, but my wife and I and my adorable two-year-old son would sure appreciate it if you did change your viewing habits and watch us in the mornings. And since my alarm clock goes off around 2.30, I'm not normally out and about at this hour of the day, so forgive me if I get a little foggy. This is normally the time of day when I'm yelling at those darn neighborhood kids to stop riding their bikes and enjoying the 70 or 80 degree weather at 6 p.m. in the evening. So uh, I'm really happy to be here because these are the stories that I like to tell. These are the stories that I like to hear. These are stories about good people doing good things in our community. And to get this started, uh, we want to bring up Kyle McCoy, the Vice President of Education and Exhibits here at the Indiana Historical Society, our wonderful host for the evening. Kyle. Thank you, everybody. Um, and on behalf of the Indiana Historical Society, I want to welcome you all to the uh, Eugene and Marilyn Glick History Center, and in particular, the Basile Theater here at IHS. And I think a lot of people don't really know the history of IHS. We were formed when our state was only 14 years old. And there were a bunch of people that got around and volunteered their time to create this organization. So basically, if it wasn't for volunteers, I wouldn't even have a job right now. So thank you all. Um, one of the other things that we must remember is that as we engage in the service we engage in today, that that has a ripple effect towards the future. Uh, people that come after us, they pay attention to what we do. We set things up for people to take that ball and run it farther down the field. And that's just one of the many reasons that IHS is happy to host this program because we rely on volunteers every step of the way. And our um, employees volunteer throughout the state and especially through this city. So volunteerism is very, very special to us and we encourage it every chance we get. Um, leadership comes in many different forms as all of you will show us tonight, all shapes and sizes, and it's very critical to this city. And I think it's commendable that the mayor and the city recognize all the volunteerism that goes in and helps to further this for the future. So we're very grateful for your work that you do for the city and we hope you all enjoy this evening as you get applauded for all of the work that you have done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kyle. We also want to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. We can't do events like this without sponsors. And here to offer a special greeting, Jim McDonald with J.P. Morgan Chase. Jim, come on up. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's my great pr privilege to be back here for a second year. Um, at J.P. Morgan, I run our private bank. and. Our job there is really serving the needs of very wealthy individuals and families. And what excites me about this uh, recognition so much today is it's, it's the city's chance, the mayor's chance to recognize ordinary folks who have done very extraordinary things in our community. 
Um, so it's, it's really with uh, great pride that uh, we're able to be a supporter once again uh, as J.P. Morgan Chase for this wonderful event. So thank you very much. Jim, thank you for that. Don't take off. Uh, I got some charges on my credit card I'd like to talk with you about before the evening is done. Here to introduce the mayor is a person who really doesn't need any introduction. He probably knows most of the people on stage. Olgen Williams is deputy mayor of neighborhoods. Under his leadership, residents get valuable resources. They get services and opportunities to improve their quality of life. Olgen Williams, come on up and say a few words here. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first, we'd like to, get, like to give honor to our Savior, Jesus Christ, who allowed us to be here through his grace and mercy. We honor our boss, Mayor Greg Ballard, uh, Mrs. Ballard in the audience, and all the wonderful honorees uh, that is just getting recognized to, to this evening. Now, I don't have to introduce Mayor Greg Ballard to you all. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you probably just came in from Michigan, you know. Um, <laughs> So, but, um, but before I introduce uh, my boss, uh, I'd like to say thank you all for your service. Being a volunteer for many years in Hallville, USA, I understand the importance of this work. And when I, when I worked for Christmas House, they used to ask me about stuff. And I used to tell them, um, I, I prefer to have 100 volunteers like you all versus a million dollars. I could do more for our children and for our community with people like you working tirelessly with children and meaningful adults in their life than a million dollars. Because with you all work, I'm going to get in again three million dollars worth of work. <laughs> you know, because where it's work. You know, so I thank you for all the great work and lots of you I know. I know the work you've been doing for many, many years and the time you spent away from your families and committed to making our community better. You know, and I've been the Deputy Mayor for Neighborhoods under Mayor Greg Ballard Administration. Uh, it be going on eight years. I, December 31st, I punch out. Uh, uh, and do something else, but uh, it's been such an honor and privilege for Mayor Ballard, working for Mayor Ballard. Uh, when he asked me to take this job, I was overwhelmed. Uh, I prayed when he told me. I, I acted dignified on the phone, and, I like, and then after, he, after I hung up, I got to run around the house and hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so y'all know, I was so excited. Uh, the opportunity to serve this community. The mayor told me, he said, I, I was scared to take the job, but he, he comforted me and said, just look at the city as being the, a larger Christmas house, the whole city. But he's been a great man to work for. Uh, he, I think, under you know, his administration, we have done some great things in this city. It'll never be the same. We have, we have broke uh, Brown Graking Initiative. Uh, he's been very inclusive. He used to always tell us, diversify the diversity in our administration. Uh, Monday meetings, and he's been allowed. He allowed me basically to do what I feel like I need to do with the work with community, and I appreciate that. It's been such a privilege, and I feel like we're leaving it. We, we will be leaving this city in better shape. Uh, let me say that for no, not throw off in it, but then when we found it, you know, and that's what you probably will move it on up. But he's always been committed to the citizens. He always appreciated you all and your volunteer work. And that's why he has the neighborhood layers on me and Douglas to do what we do to make sure that we connect with our citizens. And because of the work he's done and his commitment to neighborhoods and his commitment to citizens and those of the volunteers, we are a better place. And he has made it through his leadership, through his staff, great staff, and through people like yourself willing to come on the board and help us make this place a better place. And I appreciate that. You know, and he's been a great leader. In my opinion, I'm, I'm the best mayor I've ever worked with in my life, you know. Uh, I just appreciate him. And let me say this about him. He's really a nice guy. I mean, I, I really am. When well, I said it, he is a real nice man. I mean, I never very seldom seen him angry at, at, at people. Of, uh, once in a while I seen him out of sorts, and, and he'd come over and knock on the door, and, and sometimes I had to fix. But, and him, him and Mrs. Ballard have been a jewels work to work with. And I'm saying this not to flatter him, because I'm leaving him. I'll be looking for another job, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to do that. And so so with, with these words, I want this, this time to receive my great mayor, uh, Mary Gregory A. Ballard. <laughs> okay, that's really tough to follow that. And that was the introduction, but... Uh, I do want to thank uh, everybody for coming out tonight. This is uh, 
my last year as the mayor, as you all, all well know. But this is one of the nights, the days in Indianapolis that is very, very special because we're honoring people who may not ever be in the newspaper, may not ever be on TV, but I know and we know the impact of their work on a daily basis. It is very special. Uh, I'm privileged to know uh, every year I, I know a few of them when they're on the stage, but frankly, most of them I've met through this process. Uh, and, the, and to hear what they have been doing is, is very, very special, but none of this surprises me because it, it becomes very clear to any mayor of the city of Indianapolis what a very caring and a very compassionate city we are. And there are always people doing good work on behalf of others that no one will ever know about. And it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. And that's what's the beautiful thing about the city of Indianapolis. And we need to honor those folks who do that. Uh, no matter what area it might be in. And I would suggest to you right now, sitting in front of you, is an unbelievable range of areas that they help in. It is amazing because I, I read I read the, uh, the blurbs on all of you, just so you know, so when we choose these things. But it's, uh, so it's very, very special, actually, uh, because uh, with, without exception, they are terrific people uh, doing good work so people like you and I can live in a city that we can call home and that we can be proud of. Uh, and that's what's, uh, what's always what's very special about this night to me, and I hope it's always special to you. I know we have some past winners in here, and I always appreciate that they, that they show up for this event, but thank you for what you've done. It's, uh, it's unbelievable, really, the collective work that's up here. And I, I want to thank you because the citizens of Indianapolis benefit from all of you doing what you do. So it's just the, our little token to, to kind of recognize you tonight, but you make a huge, huge impact. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, everybody. All right, we'd like to bring up, without further ado, Jamel Henderson. Jamel's a National Urban Fellow in the Mayor's Office. He attends Baruch College in New York City, pursuing his Master's of Public Administration. He is going to help me as we honor each and every one of these people up on stage and get the 2015 Mayor's Community Service Awards underway. Jamel, come on up. We can clap for him, too. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and to the recipients, thank you for all of your work. Your work is now being, getting ready in a few minutes to be permanently etched into these, in this great city and the city's history, so congratulations to all of you. Our first recipient is Ms. Ann Berkemeyer. Ann is a very active volunteer. If she sees a need, she steps in, volunteers, and organizes whatever is needed to get the job done. Ann organized the first and only Crime Watch program in the Richland Acres neighborhood and was awarded the, two, the year 2000 Crime Fighter of the Year Award by Mayor Peterson. This is in a neighborhood of 50 homes comprising of many different generations. Ann organized and coordinated a weekly group of seven, seven years ago that repackages bulk food for the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry. This group continues to serve in that capacity today. She is currently organizing a group of 30 adults that are coordinating their summer festival called the St. Mark Fun Fest, at which this organization averages five hours a day. Please put your hands together as she receives her award for her hard work and dedication. Thank you, Mrs. Berkemeyer. Our second recipient, is Mr. Randy Decker. Randy and the Decker and the Warren Central Robotics Program have been invaluable in their support of Mayor Ballard's City of Indianapolis VEX Robotics Championship. Their leader has sat on the steering committee for the past four years. In addition to supporting the steering committee, the Warren Central Robotics Program has provided materials, 100 and 100 plus volunteers, and valuable mentorship to new robotic teams at workshops and at the annual event. 
Their support has enabled over 800 students and 125 schools across Marion County to provide high quality STEM programming that connects to high demand wage jobs in the city. Let's give him a big round of applause. Our third honoree is Kim Douglas. She currently serves the Homeland Security Division for the city as a member and is volunteer coordinator of the Marion County Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT. Since 2011, Kim has been a CERT volunteer coordinator, motivating over 2,500 CERT members. She coordinates the volunteer activities of the group, and she's dedicated her lifetime to volunteering and works tirelessly and selflessly in her efforts toward community preparedness. Through her work, Kim has demonstrated a great deal of dedication and conscientiousness two qualities that are vital in public service and in volunteering, Kim Douglas. Kim, we're friends now. I hope I can call you Kim and not Kimberly. Okay. I don't want those 2,500 volunteers coming after me. All right, Danita Elliott is up next. She's a volunteer for Indy Parks and Recreation at the Pride Park Family Center. Now, she resided in the Norwood neighborhood on the southeast side of Indy when she was younger, and she says she volunteers because that's what's in her heart. She says she loves helping and being around others. She's served in a whole lot of facets. She's been a greeter, a kitchen helper, a server, an organizer for events at the Pride Park Family Center. She volunteers 100 hours a month. She assists with second helpings and after school homework. Danita's instrumental in programming the annual spring festivals, the bags for school, fall festivals, and brunch with Santa. So let's show our appreciation for Danita Elliott as she receives her award. Our next recipient, Mr. Anthony Gorman. Mr. Anthony Gorman is a volunteer for Indy Parks and Recreation at Pride Park Family Center. Mr. Gorman is a lifelong resident of the Norwood neighborhood on the southeast side of Indianapolis. Anthony's desires are to serve his neighborhood community by engaging in festival, holiday, and reunion events. Anthony works for Walmart and participates in a volunteerism always pays program. Anthony volunteers 100 hours per month as well, and on, behalf of his, on, behalf, on his behalf, Walmart donates annual monetary gift to the Pride Park Family Center. Let's give him a big round of applause as he receives this award. The next recipient is Mr. Jay Height. Mr. Height is the executive director of Shepherd Community Center and has served the near east side of Indianapolis since 1995. At Shepherd, Height leads the charge in breaking the cycle of poverty. In 10 years, Height has accomplished a budget growth from 100,000 to the current 4.2 million and a staff growth from three to more than 60. In addition, he completed renovations of Shepherd's old facilities as well as a 3.4 million renovation and relocation to the current community center. Let's give him a big round of applause in his absence. Up next is Antoine Hauser, a dedicated leader, passionate about working and impacting the lives of young people in all facets of life, formerly serving as youth pastor at Mount Pisgah MBC in the leadership, under the leadership of his father, Pastor B.E. Hauser. He is currently serving as the minister over the young adult ministry at Emmanuel MBC in Indianapolis under the leadership of Pastor Daryl K. Webster. It's afforded him the opportunity to pour into the lives of young people for over 10 years now. He's had a thirst and a desire to work in the community as a leader, and yet he wants to be a humbled yet prominent voice in the community. Mr. Hauser is also a very well-dressed man. He's got great socks on if you get a look. Let's congratulate him on his award. <laughs> Hey, if you wear them, you want people to notice them, right? <laughs> Up next are Bob and Roseanne Hunter. They are called the perfect neighbors. You often see them when the grass gets tall along the roads. They're walking slowly along the roadside, spending hours picking up trash so people don't hit it with their lawnmowers. They ensure the neighborhood looks good and people stay safe. 
the work done by Bob and Roseanne has clearly and without hesitation been the stitching in the fabric that makes the Homecroft area such a desirable place to live for so many years. Bob and Roseanne are the type of neighbor that people want to have. They deserve the utmost respect and gratitude for all they do for the residents within the community of Homecroft. A big round of applause for Bob and Roseanne Hunter. Our next recipient, Ms. Tina McIntosh. Tina is the president and founder of the Indianapolis-based non-for-profit Joy House, an adult day service facility with two locations here in Indianapolis. Joy's House serves families of the greater Indianapolis and is a thriving organization located on both the north and south side. Last year, Joy's House absorbed Southport Adult Day Center and now serves as an average of 45 guests daily between the two locations. After 16 years in the business, Tina not only has the knowledge and connections that it takes to help caregivers, but her passion is to empower and educate families. In addition to that day in day uh, adult day service program, Tina hosts a weekly radio show for caregivers, as well as expressive art therapy, support programs, and documents to help them navigate the journey of caring for an aging or disabled loved one. Let's give her a big round of applause as she receives her award. The next recipient, Ms. Jenny Moy. Ms. Jenny Moy is the living embodiment of servant leadership. When she decides to become a part of a group or organization, she rolls up her sleeves and gets to work. Time and time again, she has served roles in both large and small for the betterment of those she is serving. Some of her services include being serving as, for seven years in the President's Roundtable, Junior League of in Indianapolis for over 20 years, the Eskenazi Health Guild served as a board member for the past three years, and also being a part of the St. Margaret's Hospital Guild from 2005 to present. Let's give her a big round of applause as she receives her award. Joan Miller is our next honoree. She's been a constant voice for the Perry Township area for over 10 years now. She's served multiple years as president of the Greater Southside Business and Greater Southside Community Alliance. She's passionate about keeping the success of the Southside at the forefront, not only of elected leaders, but also businesses and residents. She was instrumental in the creation of Gray Park, as well as establishing programs to aid the Chin community and beautification efforts. A round of applause for Joan Miller. <laughs> David Palmer is next. Purposeful Design started out as an experiment for David, who wanted to reach people in Indianapolis that had lost hope. They lost hope because of addiction, bad relationships, and sin. He wanted to help the men of Indianapolis find a purpose in a new life skill and walk with them as they found new purpose for their life. Today, Purposeful Design is taking action for families by attacking joblessness. David Palmer invested his own money into this program and with the help of others has built it into the prosperous business that just keeps on growing. Many stories have been done by local news agencies. You can find them on his website, pdindy.com. A round of applause for David Palmer. Our next recipient is Dr. M. Joan Robinson. Dr. Robinson has set up neighborhood cleanup days, working with local organizations that donate tools, gloves, plastic bags, water, and even a dumpster. Neighbors Helping Neighbors is her main focus. Many of the homes have fallen in disrepair as original builders are passing the homes onto second and third generation. This area has not only benefited from many improvements that surrounding the communities that have received Dr. Robinson has been an instrumental in seeking sources for this purpose. Let's give her a big round of applause for her tireless work. Thank you, Dr. Robinson. Our next recipient, the Reverend Darrell Lee Sidnor Sr. Reverend Darrell Lee Sidnor Sr. is usually behind the scenes, but always a present leader in the community. 
He has consistently averaged over 160 volunteer hours each month for over four years. While his commitment is primarily geared towards serving the youth in our community, Reverend Sidno also gives himself towards improving the community at large for all of Marion County. He provided the resources, facilities, and personnel to launch both the Cooking with Cops and Frying with Firefighters programs to help children learn, trust, respect, and work with public safety officials. Let's give him a big round of applause. We've got a few more left, but before we move on, I'd like to uh, thank Dr. Robinson. When I first got here, I was walking around up here on stage, meeting everybody, getting ready, and I had, I don't know if you can see it, I had a Thomas the Train sticker stuck on my shoe. <laughs> And she and uh, her friend here tonight flagged me down and made sure that I took care of that before I came up here to host the Volunteer Service Award. So thank you for that. Up next is Stephanie Sanders Young. She's been volunteering her services for over 17 years now to the Moselle Sanders Foundation that grew from serving the small community of Hallville to serving citizens all over Marion County. Reverend Roosevelt Sanders and his co-chair of the foundation and wife, Stephanie Sanders, expanded the Thanksgiving Feed the People dinner by adding additional programs, collaborations, fundraising campaigns, and operational structure. That program grew to serving over 36,000 hot meals to the needy on Thanksgiving. Ms. Sanders Young volunteers countless hours every week to prepare and plan to continue feeding the hungry here. She helps to manage a monthly food giveaway that distributes 5,000 to 10,000 pounds of groceries, personal hygiene, and household cleaning products. Every month, she does this. Stephanie Sanders Young is known for the following mottos. I'm going to look down and read them here. You have not because you ask not. If each person would feed another person, then everyone would be fed. And God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Let's give a huge round of applause to Stephanie Sanders Young. And now the Reverend Arthur Sample III is the esteemed pastor of the Mount Moriah Church, has a deep concern and love for his community, the city, the people, especially the young people. Pastor Sample stated that he volunteers his time because, quote, he feels that he has something to offer and that he can help. In an effort to reach out to the youth in the community and accommodate the growth of the church while continuing outreach, on September 18, 2005, Mount Moriah celebrated the dedication of the 20,000 plus square foot Family Life Center. There's a workforce development program, a program that provides training and job opportunities for people in the community a computer lab for tutoring, computer classes, annual Brightwood Community Festival, health fairs, the Children on Watch, a youth image conference, outreach to feed families in need, monthly clothing giveaways, and feeding families with groceries each and every week. Reverend Arthur L. Sample III. And now how about a round of applause, a standing ovation everybody for our honorees here. Take a look at this group of people, different ages, races, different types of volunteers, but they are all helping. Doug? Thank you, Tim. Just a, one quick reminder uh, for our folks we appreciate you so much. The mayor has graciously offered each of you two Pacers tickets. That will be an upcoming game. So we'll be in contact with you soon for that. And for everybody else, we just want to. <laughs> Good seats. Yes, they are. Uh, so we, we also want to, to thank each of you for coming out today. And I'll put it back in the hand. We want to remind everybody there will be a reception outside as soon as we leave here. You all know the volunteer that you came with, but if you see another person holding one of these awards with a name tag on, stop and say hello to them because everybody here is an honoree, is a winner tonight, and is doing something good to make this community better. All the recipients, we're going to take a photo before we are done, so don't scoot out there and start getting all that adulation just yet. We want to get a picture of you. And we want to know we got the cameras in the back there. This will be broadcast 
on WCTY channel 16, that's the government access channel in Indianapolis. In about two weeks, channel 16 will stream the broadcast online as well. Indy.gov slash front porch will post the link as soon as it's available. While we're waiting those two weeks, might I say watch CBS 4? It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you all for coming. Enjoy your evening, and thank all of you, everybody.